Never Stop Learning, week 231. We're gonna take a quick look at the Smart Guides update in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.2. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have your Smart Guides turned on. Over here at the top, under the View menu, you wanna scroll down and towards the bottom, you're gonna find Smart Guides. Now, I already have my Smart Guides turned on, and I could tell because over here on the left, you see this little check? That check lets me know that the Smart Guides are activated. Over here on the right, I have this keyboard shortcut of Command U. I'm on a Mac, so when I'm on a PC, the keyboard shortcut is Control U. Now that keyboard shortcut is gonna to toggle the Smart Guides on or off. All right, now that you know how to turn them on, I'm gonna get back out of here and show you how they work. So I'm gonna hit the L key on my keyboard to activate the ellipse tool, and I'm gonna draw out some basic artwork. I'm gonna click and drag, and right away you start seeing the Smart Guides in action. Notice when I'm drawing out a circle, I get this crosshairs and some annotation telling me on. So I'm pretty much on track to draw out a nice circle here. If I break that, I'm just drawing a regular ellipse. I'll go back over here until the smart guides snap into action and then release. All right, I'm gonna make some quick changes to the appearance of this guy. Now there's also some enhancements for the shapes. I'm gonna show you one really quickly here and then I'll go over it in more detail in a future video. All right, with the same tool, check this out. I could actually reposition my circle. I could even hold down the Alt or Option key to click and drag and create a new circle. All right, so I'm gonna do that a couple more times here. There you go. Now I've got these guys scattered around here. I'm gonna hit the V key to activate the selection tool. What I'd like to do is align them and distribute them. So this is where the new features for the Smart Guides come in. All right, so I'm gonna grab this guy here, click and drag, and just align them here. All right, that intersection is showing me that the center points are aligned, and I'm just gonna release. All right, I've got this other guy over here on the upper left, so I'm gonna click and drag, bring him down, and I want the center points to align again. All right, I'll go ahead and release. Now, everybody's aligned, but the distribution is off. So I'm gonna click and drag, and notice I get these new annotations down there at the bottom. I get these double-headed arrows. I also get an annotation letting me know what the distance is gonna be. So I'm gonna release. And again, I've used these smart guides to help me align and distribute these. All right, over here in the upper right, click and drag. Here I'm aligning the center point. And as I come over towards the left, then I get those new annotations letting me know that I have the distribution correct as well. I'll go ahead and release. And we're able to do all of that without additional panels or modifiers. All right, so now that you get an idea how those guys work, I'm gonna hit Command K on my keyboard to bring up the preferences. All right, over here on the left, click on Smart Guides. When you click on Smart Guides, it's gonna bring you all the preferences for your Smart Guides. Once you get an idea of how this works, you wanna come in here and customize this so it could work just right for your particular workflow. I'm gonna click OK to accept that change. And there you have it folks, that's a quick look at the Smart Guides update in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.2.